Hey, welcome back to Root Letter. Uh, I haven't played this game in a while, uh, ever since Dream Daddy took over my life. But uh, yeah, we left off, uh, we came back from the bar, where you're now in the inn. Uh, a lady was talking to us about Aya, but it wasn't the info we needed. Uh, let's get in back into it. <clears throat> I couldn't find Aya today either, but I found a a little bit about what happened. Maybe tomorrow I'll finally find her. Oops. Is Chapter 6 Ginger Stationary? Uh, it's been six days since I came to Matsui. It looks like whoever was writing to me was pretending to meet Aya Fumino. She tricked me, but somehow I didn't. I don't hold a grudge. Even if the name wasn't real, I think it. The rest of it was the truth. Before I leave, I should read another letter. I pull a letter out from my bag. This is the sixth letter. It's postmarked on October seventeenth. The stationary pattern is ginger, I guess. Konnichiwa. All right, and we'll skip that. Uh, let's zoom in. How do we do that? Hello, how are you doing? I'm not feeling too great. We have exams coming up, and the whole class seems gloomy. Every day was so fun a few months ago, and now it feels like I'm going to a completely different school. Yeah, exams will do that for you. Uh, something happened the other day. My grades improved, and they suspected I was cheating. That made me sad. Snappy helped me out though. I was trying to hold back tears and Snappy gently held my hand. Whenever I'm having trouble, Snappy is always there for me. Oh. Okay. Let's uh, flip it over. Snappy is so admirable and my hero. I'm really glad Snappy is around. You need to be kind to girls too, Max. We might look strong, but we're actually weak. I feel the same way. Kindness is very important. I believe in ghosts, but I'm scared of them. I have Fumino. P.S. What kind of girls do you like? Hmm. Interesting question. Uh, let's respond to that. I remember what I wrote. What did we write? Skip this, because <clears throat> we'll get to read it. There we go. That's better. Uh, thank you for your letter. There are terrible people who would suspect you of cheating. It's autumn of our third year of high school, so uh, the pressure is probably making people jump at shadows. It must be reassuring to have a hero in your class. Though I wonder what kind of guy Snappy is. I'm a little interested. Is he the idol type? The sporty type? The princely type? I want the girls in my class to feel like they can rely on me, but in reality, they probably think I'm annoying. But I do have a sense of justice and the will to protect girls. You must be pretty smart to raise your grade, uh, grades at a time like this, Aya. I really want to. I really want study. What? I really want to study more to myself, but I'm having trouble keeping my grades up. I need to hit the books. Let's both do our best and get into our top choice schools. Also, let's enjoy what little time we have left in high school. Max. P.S. Alright, and we get to choose what we responded. Long black hair. Mysterious and beautiful people. People who are fun. Hmm. I'm gonna go for people who are fun. I like girls that are fun to be around. Do you like black hair? That's a weird question. Are you interested in studying folklore? What kind of people do you like? Yeah. Let me grab a quick drink. I thought Snappy was a guy, but if it's the same person as Morita's childhood friend, it has to be a woman. I keep pressing the wrong button. Excuse me. 
Uh, Tomoko comes to put the futon away. Morning. Morning, Tomoko. Uh, good morning. You're running on all cylinders every single day, huh? I'm going for a cool, mature woman vibe, though. <laughs> I think you're fine how you are. Be natural. Natural? Uh, let's ask her. About Hiro? Who's your hero, Tomoko? My hero? Maybe the red bean bread mask? Atsuki pan? An anime hero, huh? How about in reality? Anybody who is a hero to you? That'd be Yukichi Fukuzawa and Ichio Higuchi. The faces on the 10,000 and 5,000 yen bills? They are the best of all the heroes. I agree, Tomoko. From anime to hard cash. That's realistic to be sure. Man, Tomoko is too real. Uh, women are always realistic. Who was your hero uh, when you were in high school? The captain of the basketball team, tall, gorgeous, and admired by everyone. On Valentine's Day, she received more chocolates than the boys. The captain was a girl? Yes. The girls had a crush on a girl? It's pretty common in high school. Tomoko puts the futon away. I like that. Uh, so where are you headed today? Uh, first, I'm going to the Lafcadio Hearn Memorial Museum. Have you read Hearn's books? Uh, no, I haven't. I'm not a fan of scary stories. If you're going to the museum, uh, you have to read Hearn's books. I'll lend you one. Uh, no, that won't be. Tomoko leaves the room. Oh, well. I tried to stop her, but she came back with Lafcadio Hearn's Kwaiden, uh, aka the collection of Japanese ghost stories I didn't want to read. Oh, I've heard of him. Didn't he record uh, f Japanese folklore like Yuki Ona and stuff like that? Please read this before going there. Tomoko pushes the book into my hands. Take care now. Tomoko leaves. Okay, uh, okay, we got the book. And now we're going to the museum, I guess? It's still too early. So, can we read it? Uh oh. There we go. Alright, I should read a little bit. I read Quieten. I've avoided Lafcadio Horn's books, but now that I'm giving it a chance, it's sort of nostalgic yet fresh. The strange stories and beautiful writing were fascinated, fascinating, and I ended up reading the entire book. How? It's not just there to scare you. It deals with people's karma, which makes it more interesting. I look at the clock. It's time to go to the Memorial Museum. Alright. As I step outside, a tall guy with a hat rushes away. Is that Notsu? A guy with a hat just started away. That's suspicious, to put it mildly. Uh... Hmm, weird. It looked like Notsu. Can we go inside? Oh, this is not the museum. He was at the inn. Okay. There it is. Uh, on an old style street along a moat, there's a wooden column that says Lafcadio Hearn Memorial Museum. It looks like this is the place. There's a gorgeous board fence and a gate with a tiled roof. 
Beyond that gate, there's a Japanese-style single-story wooden house. That's the museum. Ah, I walk into the Lafcadio Hearn Memorial Museum. There are exhibition panels and pictures from Hearn's life. I walk around the museum. Okay, just check it out. There's a picture of Lafcadio Hearn with commentary about his family. It looks like his father was Irish. Uh, there are several items that Hearn treasured. The sign says that Hearn was about 160 centimeters tall. Don't know how tall that is. Uh, there are several items that Hearn treasured. Oh, pfft. excuse me. Anything else? It's a poster for the exhibition that talks about how people used to call him Heron san. I don't see anything that talks about the princess of Himegamori Forest. Are you looking for something? Ah, it's that guy from before. The weird one. I jumped when I realized Kurai is standing right next to me. If you want to hear scary stories in Matsui, I'm your guy. Your specialty is ghost stories, isn't it? I know quite a bit of folklore as well. Do you know about the princess of Himegamori Forest? Of course I do. Well, can you tell me? I can't just tell you for free. You want me to pay you? Okay, no, I won't take your money, but there is one condition. What is it? What's the condition? Oh god. I'll give you a quiz about Lafcadio Hearn. If you can answer it, I'll tell you. This guy's a total neckbeard. Uh, fine, give me a, give me the quiz. I have three questions. Uh, all the answers can be found in the museum. Point at where the answer can be found and answer the question. Got it. What country is Hearn's father from? There's a panel that talked about it. Mm -hmm. uh, whoops. His father's from Ireland. I pointed at the panel. He's from Ireland. Uh, question two. He had a nickname. What was his nickname? It was like Heron san? Hmm. Right. Right here, right? No? Uh... Was it here? I pointed at the poster. I saw it on the poster over there. It's Heron san. How tall was he? He was uh, 160 centimeters. It's right here. Point to the sign. The sign says Hearn was 160 centimeters tall. Yes, yes, of course. It's around the Tensho era, it happened in Ochigun Miharamura, where Ishimi era is now. Is he telling us the story now? Yep. Mori Terumoto sent an archer to uh, Mr. Ogasawara, who had broken the law and built a castle here. He sent an assassin. Ogasawara decided to retreat to Izumo with the 17 year old Princess Chio. 
On the way there, uh, they passed by Tsuchimura. Princess Chio said she wanted to drink water. Despite uh, the warnings, uh -huh. the princess walked to a pond and she slipped and fell in. Never heard this story before. What happened to her? She just disappeared. She was spirited away. Disappeared. Uh, one week later. Hmm. The princess's body was found floating in the pond. She looked beautiful, though, as if she were still alive. That's the legend of pr the princess of Himegamori Forest. A drowned body looked beautiful a week later? That doesn't make any sense. Legends don't have to make sense. So it's not like the dead princess came back to life, right? Uh, the legend changed as it was passed down, and now people say a dead body would come back to life, more beautiful than before. The bitch must have meant that the dead Aya came back alive in more beautiful state. Huh. We have theme exhibitions too. Have a flyer. Wait. Uh, he runs this place? I take a flyer for a theme exhibition. It says exhibition of Matsui and aliens. Matsui and aliens? Does, did Martians come visit or something? Oh, that's outside of my field. Alright, we have to talk to Morita. Space isn't your thing, huh? Oh, please enjoy your stay. Thanks. I hang on to the flyer. Alright. Uh, where do we go next? Before I leave, I should decide where to go next. Right, let's think. Hold on. Exhibition of Matsui and Aliens. I bet the UFO fans would love it, but it doesn't sound like it's for actual adults. Wait a minute. The people at that UFO research lab would love this. Exactly. Uh, there's that thing about Snappy, too. It might be easier to ask them. I'll see Morita and ask about Snappy. Alright, let's go there. Gotta go to Izumo. I knock on the door. Uh, the door opens and Suguri is there. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, oh right, of course. Gotta use the thing. I show her the figurine of a rabbit on an agate face. By all means. Sugari is the only one in the room. Where's Morita? Is Morita here? Uh, not yet. Did you come to talk to him? I did. You're not actually interested in UFOs, are you? Well, that's... Guests who come to mock us will be banned. Oh, we're not trying to mock you. I'll be in trouble if they kick me out. Are you? Of course, I'm here because I'm interested in UFOs and aliens. Do you have any proof that you're interested in UFOs? Okay, she doesn't believe us. Uh, let's show her this. Oh, take a look at this. I show her the flyer for the exhibition of Matsui and aliens that I got at the Left Kario Hearn Memorial Museum. It's a flyer for the exhibition of Matsui and aliens. I have this with me because I am interested in aliens. Totally. I guess you're not lying. Glad, glad you believe me, Scully. Uh, glad I took that thing. 
How was the Lafcadio Hearn Memorial Museum? I was moved. I felt like I saw the scenes of Japan that I had forgotten. Wow, I felt the same way. Did you? Hearn's affection for Japan is something that today's Japanese people have lost. Hearn was wonderful, but then so was Japan back then. It is a country of gods, guarded by compassion and morality. Don't you agree? Uh, yeah. Hearn came to Japan through a twist of strange fate, but maybe he was destined to come here. The gods brought him here so that he could record our traditional ghost stories. That is interesting. It looks like Sugari is a big fan of Lef uh, Lefkadio Hearn. Am I boring you? N no, not at all. Morita is running late though, huh? Right, you came here to see Morita. Uh... Ask, ask about herself. Why did you join the UFO research lab, Sugiri? Because I like UFOs, of course. Otherwise, I wouldn't be in such a place. That's true. I can't seem to get along with her well. Uh, let's ask about Morita. Do you know how old Morita is? Thirty-three. Don't ask me how old I am. I wasn't planning on it. Morita and I are the same age. I turned thirty-three this year, and chances are the snappy who bit him and the snappy that I'm looking for are the same person. Yesterday, he was talking about snappy, but... I'll tell you right now, Morita wouldn't talk about her. <clears throat> Why not? Because it's a painful memory. Huh. Did she break his heart? <laughs> the memory is painful because she bit him. Oh, literally painful. Uh, Snappy had a left canine tooth sticking out, and he still has a mark from it now. Okay, so he has a snaggle tooth? That'll make it easier to find him. Snappy has a left canine tooth sticking out. Okay. Hmm. Let's ask about him or her. I forgot. Uh, she's at San Inchu TV, right? What are you saying? Uh, nothing. Uh, you're interested in Hearn. Let's talk about Quiden. No, you're interested in Hearn. Wait, so if Snappy's at Sun and Chuo, does that mean Snappy is the uh, TV presenter? Uh, sure. Tell me about your favorite story in the book. I guess the one where a man who's left his wife for his career can't forget about his wife, and he comes back a few years later to be welcomed by the same kind, beautiful wife. But it turns out she was already dead. That's my favorite. It's creepy, but I liked it because it was also bittersweet. Unfortunately, we don't seem to agree on things. Really? My favorite was the one where a man who had promised his wife who died of disease that he would get married again, breaks that promise and marries a younger woman. Like she's how she's uh, getting into the story. I 
On the morning after the wedding, his new wife's head is gone and is found in front of the ex-wife's grave. Of all the stories in Quiet, and she picked the most distasteful one. Okay. I'm going to go now. That was creepy as fuck. Uh, Suguri is kinda weird. Mizaki knew about me though. She must have something to do with Aya. I'm going to sign into a TV. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, Snappy is the... Whoops. I think Snappy is the television presenter. Sun and Chuo TV. There it is. I came to Sun and Chuo TV. I'm gonna ask Mizaki Murakami about it. Welcome. Uh, let's ask. Could I please see Mizaki Murakami? Do you have an appointment in Apo? No, I don't. But can you call her? Murakami instructed me not to call her about any visitors who don't have appointments, especially if it's a guy who looks like he could be Max. Aww. What do you mean a guy who looks like he could be Max? I'm assuming he's someone like you? She seems to hate me now. Hmm. Anything wrong? Yeah, she knows my face now. Oh, I almost forgot about an appointment. I'll excuse myself now. I leave reception desk. If I wander around here, she might show up again. Okay. Let's look around. Uh, they're doing a charity auction. Each staff has an individual space, including Mizaki. Hmm. Oh, that's enough. I look around. On the wall, there are posters to promote their programs. One of them is of Mizaki. These are posted for the station. Mizaki has perfect teeth. So she can't be snappy. Well, she could have gotten them, you know, she could have gotten braces. I stop by an auction. There's a bunch of stuff up for auction. Mizaki contributed, uh, contributed to the auction too. There are dolls, stationery, accessories, and also that red spider lily brooch. Brooch? That's the red spider lily brooch she was wearing. <clears throat> I'll buy it as a keepsake. I'd like to get this. As I'm about to make a payment, I notice Mizaki's boss, boss is the cashier. Excuse me. Hi. Sure, thank you. Aren't you one of the higher high ups around here? Uh, yeah, believe it or not, I'm the head of the announcers department. So what's the department head doing here? Okay, all of the employees take turns as the cashier for the auction, regardless of our positions. I might be able to get some information out of this guy. Alright, I got the brush. Now let's ask him about Mizaki. Uh, Mizaki Murakami is hugely popular. She's our leading announcer. I'm a fan of hers too. Isn't she the most promising of all the women who started together? Actually, she's the only one. No other female staff joined the station the same year as her. She doesn't have a rival around the same age. <clears throat> there used to be a one who was a year older, but she left the company. If that's the case, could she be Morita's childhood friend? 
Anything happened with Murakami? Uh, no, nothing. Thank you very much. I rushed out of sight into a TV. I'll find out more about Mizaki. <clears throat> I wonder who would talk about her. Hmm. Let's think. That chatty bitch might talk about Mizaki. I'll never get over that. A uh, bitch is probably at Waterworks. Okay. Let's move there. Uh, I'm at Waterworks. Welcome. Is Riko Sasaki here? Uh, yes, Miss Haneda. I mean, Miss Sasaki is sitting in the back. Hmm. That manager remembers bitch by her maiden name. Of course, a uh, woman usually changes their last name when they marry, so it may not necessarily match the name on the school list. I walk towards the back and find bitch sitting alone. You again. I'd like to ask you about your high school days. No way. I don't want to bring this up, but... My swimsuit poster won't work anymore. Why not? I told Arisa that her mother used to work as an advertising model when she couldn't get a job as an actress. Okay, so I guess she's over it now. Let's ask about Mizaki. It's nothing big. I'd like to ask you about Mizaki Murakami. Get out of here. What was she called in high school? It's snappy, isn't it? We called her Murakami. I heard she got the most votes in a popularity poll. Nothing to do with me. The girls idolize her. I know you're jealous. Entertainers and announcers are different, but she's an icon in the television industry. So was, like, uh, Murakami everyone's truck crush in high school? So what? She's making the bitch's dream a reality. Dang. I bet you're really popular too. You bet. I was a star in my high school. But you weren't as popular as Mizaki. Ow. You don't understand it at all. She looked like a boy with short hair. And with that headstrong personality, she wasn't popular at all. Maybe she was uh, every girl's crush. That's what you wanted to believe. But I bet she was actually popular among the boys. There's no way that savage woman could have been popular. Mizaki is savage? I've seen her bite Watanabe before. Oh, okay. You're just telling him. Uh, she bit him? Watanabe was the kind of guy who never loses a fight. And he was crying. Wow. Oh dear, I've said too much. No, I'm glad I heard that story. This is helpful. I don't need your sarcasm. Are you done? I have better things to do than talk to you. That was plenty. Thank you. I leave the cafe. Alright, so now we know Mizaki is, uh, snappy. Next, I should go see the person who was bitten. Watanabe. That'd be Watanabe. And, uh, hmm. Wouldn't he be at the school? Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Let's go to the high school. I'm back at Oba High School, but it looks like classes are still in session. I came around back to the field. 
Monkey is doing maintenance. There you are, monkey. Still looking for Aya? Uh, no, I'm looking for Snappy this time. You could stand to dress Snappy, it's true. You're pretty funny. I'm pretty busy. Unless you've got something important to say, you can show yourself out. I wouldn't come to see you if it wasn't important. I have nothing to say to you. Uh, hmm. Snap at? I heard that the monkey who never lost a fight cried after a girl bit him. Do you enjoy digging up my painful memories? It was literally painful. Who bit you? Mizaki Murakami, wasn't it? Hmm. It felt like he blushed as soon as I mentioned her name. No way. Did you have a crush on Mizaki? What? They say girls like bad boys. Were you two dating? Don't be stupid. Bullseye. <laughs> the worst line. No, we weren't dating. It was just... It was just she liked biting him. That's it. Just what? Unrequited love. I see. In high school, I had a crush on Mizaki. And then... Wait, you didn't force... <laughs> Say anymore and I'll kick your ass. I get into fistfights, but I never hit women. I told her that I liked her, and I was rejected. Ah, <clears throat> that's all. But why would she bite you? Oh, I get it. Okay. I don't really know. Be honest. I can think of one thing that could have upset Mizaki. What is it? Wait here. Monkey goes into the school building. It looks like Monkey went to get something. He comes back. He has an old friendship bracelet in his hand. This. Monkey shows me the friendship bracelet. It's one of those Misanga bracelets with made with threads of five colors. Blue, yellow, red, white, and black. When I was joking around with her, I pulled on this bracelet and it broke. Mizaki looked like she was about to cry, and she tried to bite me all of a sudden. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling that bracelet belonged to Aya. Can you tell me a little more about this situation? I told her that I liked her, but she liked someone else. Who? She didn't tell me, so I was upset and tried to grab her bracelet, and then... Okay. Maybe she had a crush on Aya. Thanks to being such a musclehead, you pulled so hard you broke it? Then snap! She bit me. Then she realized what just happened and ran away. That's it? I always wanted to apologize and give this back to her. But I wasn't able to before our graduation, and I still have it today. Hmm. Can you give us a bracelet? Please. I can return it back to her if you want. But... These kinds of things are often better with help from a third party. You can go into a, and apologize to her after that. Sure. You can count on me. I'll take good care of the friendship bracelet. Alright, here. So did Snappy have a crush on Aya? I feel like that's the case. Monkey hands me the friendship bracelet, otherwise the bracelet wouldn't mean much to her. 
I'll give it back to Mizaki. I'm counting on you. Oh, also, have her teeth been that perfect since she was a kid? I only know her from high school. Who knew her since she was a kid then? I think Tanaka went to the same middle school as her. Four eyes. Yep. Thank you. I'll go talk to him. I part ways with Monkey. Alright. Uh, before we go to f uh, Four Eyes, I think I'll end the episode here. So yeah. I think that's how Aya and Mizaki are connected. They're really good friends. And she had that friendship bracelet. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.